Hello YouTube! This former senior US intelligence officer has claimed that the government is in possession of extraterrestrial vehicles. David Crush was an officer of National Geospatial Intelligence Agency for 14 years and is an American colonel in the US Air Force. Last Tuesday, he stated that the government is in possession of UFOs. The material includes intact or partially intact vehicles, he claimed. The former serviceman claims to have compiled a file containing evidence that the US military authorities possess these vehicles. He claims to have sent it to congressmen and senators as well as to the intelligence community, Inspectorate General, which oversees the 18 U.S. intelligence agencies including the CIA and the NSA. To affirm what he said, he describes that the vehicles are based on the morphology of the vehicles and the scientific tests conducted on their equipment as well as the presence of unique atomic compositions and radiological signatures. He refers to the existence of a bell-shaped craft about 10 meters in size recovered in 1933 in northern Italy in the commune of Magenta. This aircraft is said to have been kept by Benito Mussolini's services and to have been recovered in 1944 by an American intelligence agency and has since disappeared. There is always a chance that this could lead to other unfounded conspiracy theories, he admits. The irony is that this was once a conspiracy theory that turns out to be true. He then explains that he thought the public deserved to know some of the fact and says he has been given permission to speak on unclassified files including the Magenta case by the Department of Defense's Office of Security pre-publication and review. According to him, the allied countries that are aware of the existence of these extraterrestrial vehicles are Canada, the United Kingdom, New Zealand and Australia, which are officially united by the Intelligence Alliance Agreement known as the Five Eyes. David Crush left the army in April. He says he has received numerous threats including death threats, but believes there is a real risk anonymous in such a situation. On the contrary, making the matter public could attract public support, which could protect him and enable him to continue to press his claims. As part of this, he plans to launch a foundation to help the scientific community start up protocols on this subject and hopes to become an opinion leader on the issue. In 2021, following the leak of the photo of a UFO from the Pentagon, the institution published a report listing 114 unexplained sightings to date, dozens of which had been observed by military pilots in May 2022 for the first time in 50 six years, a Senate committee organized a hearing of intelligence and military officials to obtain clarification on their knowledge of UFOs. NASA also announced that it was launching an investigation to destigmatize the subject and held its first press conference on the subject on 31 May. At the conference, it revealed a previously unseen video of a UFO. After hearing all these testimonies, do you think UFOs are built by aliens? See you tomorrow guys!